Let's look at a TDS GDS example. Two common mistakes when calculating TDS and GDS. One of them is to confuse what is monthly and what is annual, and another one is to confuse balances with cash flows. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to look at here and see, well, which of these is not a monthly figure? Standard is to do everything monthly. You could do everything annually and it would work, but standard is to do everything monthly. So let's look at it. $72,000, I'm thinking that is an annual number. Property taxes are normally quoted annually, so these two look like they are annual numbers. Taking a look at uh, balances, this is a balance. Now, we do need it to calculate a payment, but it is a balance. Insurance, another common mistake, is to include things that are not included. TDS and GDS. GDS is your mortgage, property taxes, and heat. Your TDS is other debts. Insurance is not a debt. It's not a property tax or a heat. So we are not going to use it at all. So first thing we need to do is calculate these numbers. So if we divide that by 12, we get $6,000 for monthly income. Property taxes, we divide by 12, we get $200. So let's calculate our GDS equals my mortgage. 1500 plus my property taxes 200 plus my heat 150 over my gross monthly income $6000 and we get 30.83%. Industry standard is to quote it as a percentage so when you do this math you'll actually get 0 0.3083. Industry standard is to quote it as a percentage 30.83% with two decimal places. TDS, I start with the GDS number. I start with the GDS number. So this is 1850. So another common mistake is to start with the percentage. There is a way to do that, but you'd have to do it differently. We're going to start with the number. That's the total of these three is the 1850. And then I'm going to add in any other debts. So my credit card, I multiply by 0 0.03 to get 150. So I'm going to add 150, going to add in a car loan of $500 over 6,000. 41.67%. GDS maximum 32%. We're okay for GDS. TDS maximum 40%. Again, some places might be 42, but we're saying 40%. This is over. We cannot approve the loan. Doesn't matter if you like the clients. Doesn't matter if you think it would be helpful for them. We cannot approve it. You could ask for an exception if it's close. If it's a very strong application, you could say, can we make an exception on this one? Um, and, you know, reasons might be they're paying off a debt quite soon, so the TDS will drop. Again, not because we think it's going to help the client. The uh, reason would have to be because we think there is some other factor that makes the loan repayable, despite the fact that the number is too high. You might look at TDS and think 40%, that's not a lot. But consider that 40 to 50% of your salary you never even see, and we're looking at gross income. So 40% goes towards your debts, 40% goes towards taxes and other deductions. You have 20% to live on, gas, groceries, and all your other monthly bills.